hardships to get to this point and mentally it was worth everything what's up y'all she girl is you the host and y'all know i lost 40 pounds nigga stop me do a photo shoot this guy I just wanna run up them bands, fuck trying to make fucking friends Niggas don't see through my lens, let me tell you about this shit Boy, I couldn't even pay my rent, not on some dumb shit, really on some bum shit What you know about check the check, bill collectors at my neck Man, it got to the point where I ain't even wanna pay shit At one point, I had it all, if you can rise, nigga, you can fall Niggas claiming they your dog, bitches trying to cut you off Shit, I lost everything, thought about blowing my brain Nigga, literally like, bang, bang, bang I said fuck it, just thug it out No lame shit for the clout Ho Hold on bro, let, let me switch it up When you see that shit, then you better get it Fuck that hoe if she think you trip Get back to the bag and start to flip You a boss out here, nigga, don't forget it <laughs> Nigga, don't forget it Yeah, nigga, don't forget it oh, oh, you thought I was finished? Nah, nigga, just listen I was really in the kitchen Nah, nigga, I was getting it Y'all, let's go! Welcome to my new, what am I calling this? My palace. You dig what I'm saying? So, this right here is my living room. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't gonna be a living room, no. So, boom, I'm gonna make it a gym, right? Um, I'm also gonna print shirts in here, boom, right? I'm gonna put a big ass TV on this wall. You dig what I'm saying? Facts. And then over here in this area is gonna be my couch. You know what I'm saying? And it's pretty much gonna be where I think and shit. Was it dark looking out that way on the video? Mm -mm. Okay, so this is gonna be where I think and shit, you know what I'm saying, while I'm sitting on my little couch or whatever, doing my thing. Up at the ceiling, do you need that? This shit gonna need some light. We're gonna look up at the ceiling, you know what I'm saying? We got a hot ceiling, you dig? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go in the kitchen area. I just want y'all to know somebody gonna be up on this counter, you understand me? <laughs> I can't wait. All right, uh, so we got the sink where I wash dishes or somebody else gonna wash them. You know what I'm saying? I got a dishwasher. That's what I'ma use. You know what I'm saying? And if one of them sexy ass women come over here, you washing my dishes. All right, love you. All right, so we got a good old cabinet space. You know what I'm saying? By the way, it's raining like hell. I'm sure y'all see this red bra glistening with these pretty boobs. Okay, all right, so we got a washer and dryer. It's no way. You can have an apartment without a washer and dryer. I just refuse. Um, that's the bougie side of me. You definitely gotta have a washer and dryer. Don't you hate when you find some shit when you just move into a new place and they didn't fucking take it off because they lazy as well. Anyway, all right, that's the washer and dryer. Good old stove. You know what I'm saying? I can cook. Give y'all my uh, gourmet meals, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all know I haven't eaten meat in about 30 something days. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good time. Got the uh, the freezer, you know what I'm saying, the refrigerator. I'm gonna make sure I put some good healthy food up in it. Uh-huh. All right, so right here, this is gonna be my recording area. You know what I'm saying? And if any of y'all wanna make some portraits for me, please do. And send them to my P.O. box. My P.O. box is on the screen. Y'all make sure y'all send me some stuff. And I'm gonna put all y'all artwork back here. That's what we're gonna do. So whoever got artwork, we wanna draw something, Paint something, whatever. I'm gonna put it back here. I'm gonna put some lights right here. This is gonna be my recording studio area. I'm gonna make it podcast reaction video friendly. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we are gonna do with that. All right. So we got the bathroom. I ain't got no jacuzzi tub or nothing like that. And they definitely gotta clean this um this tub out a little more. But other than that, it's a good time. You know what I'm saying? They gotta clean that too. All right. So. We got the sink and you know what I'm saying? The bathroom, barn. That's the bathroom. All right, so this is uh, where the action happens. 
Right, that's the only light. I'm gonna have to uh, increase the light in here. Do I look dark? This is where the action gonna happen. It, it ain't that much light in here, but if I don't give y'all this, y'all gonna be y'all gonna be mad. So this is what I've been sleeping on for like the past probably like seven months or so. I'm gonna keep it, okay? And I'm gonna give me a bed. Shout out to my daddy, he a real OG. All right, um, also, this is my closet. This is good closet space for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this is a good time. This is good closet space for me. And uh, that's really it. I got some other things that I want to say. I, I sure appreciate you. So I want y'all to know for about a year, I've been going through some things, you know what I'm saying? And um, the message that I want to put at the end of this video is that you can overcome anything. Do you hear me? Anything. I want y'all to know that I moved to Atlanta uh, with the intentions on elevating my life and becoming a better person, right? And I did that. In the process, I went through a lot of hardships. Um, people lost me. I'm not gonna say I lost people, fuck them. Uh, they lost me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's really that on that. And I'm so happy that God has a way of process and elimination. You know what I'm saying? Um, he knows how to strip everything from you, to humble you and bring you back. You get what I'm saying? And he always does it 10 times hard. He always does it 10 times better. He outdoes himself when he um, takes everything away from you. You get what I'm saying? Um, I want to say something that, uh, you know, somebody made a statement. I'm going to say something that somebody made a comment about um, me, that when you're 30 years old, if you don't have a place to stay, if you don't have a place you can call home, that is a problem. Let me tell y'all something. At 30 years old, some of us learn how to be responsible and great at 18. You know, you get kicked out of your people crib, or you move out, you go to college, you, you get an education, you, you get a good job and you grow up and you just have a great home and your credit is amazing and shit like that. But see, I have a different story and I'm not ashamed of my story. You understand me? At 17, I moved out um, and I have gone through so many hardships to get to this point. And mentally, it was worth everything. It was worth everything. So, I don't care if you are 21, 31, 41, we all have a moment where God takes everything from up under you. He takes it all. Do you know at 40, between 40 and 50, you have midlife crisis. Your parents are about to die. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you, you battling in between working and, and, and being unhealthy and, and, and can't walk, can't talk, can't do anything. You, you, you start to become immobile if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Then you lose your parents. Then you lose your job. Then you lose your house. Then you got to depend on your 401k. Then that runs out. Do y'all know that retirement is at 59 and a half technically, but the older we, the, the, the more advanced this world becomes, the longer you're going to have to work to be, to be able to take care of yourself, to be able to just pay a fucking bill. You get what I'm saying? So for me to learn this at 30 and not learn it at 41 and 51, which although at 41 and 51, I'm gonna go through some shit too. I appreciate it so much. You get what I'm saying? So anybody that's going through this, don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that you're wrong and you're doing something that, that is just so messed up because we all got our problems. But see, something about me is I'm bold enough to show y'all my problems, my embarrassments to others because it ain't an embarrassment to me. Uh, uh, my, my downfalls, you get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the motherfucking tunnel is always a light, baby. You get what I'm saying? And mine is shining bright, so I'm happy as hell. To who, whomever, because uh, I would never say your name, to whomever said that, God bless you. Other than that, welcome, y'all. I probably won't do a full house tour, not gonna lie. People like to rob me and shit. That's why I didn't show the outside in Atlanta, it's crazy. So I'm gonna just show y'all the studio part, and that is all, okay? Um, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Continue to rock with me. We're about to put in this work.